Well, this is a really cool picture that you can generate using Gemini AI. So basically, this is just a 3D asymmetric view of a city. And there is also the temperature or weather data. And this is real, by the way. It is not just some random number because on Gemini, the image generation model or Gemini Nano Banana Pro is able to use its web search capability. And after that, it can gather some relevant info and that info will be incorporated onto the image that it is about to create so it is able to get some content from the web and after that it will utilize the relevant info onto the image and i think this looks really cool so let me show you how you can generate a picture like this using gemini ai so let's navigate to gemini and by the way you can also use the mobile app version of gemini on your phone and after that, you can copy this prompt that you can find in the description of this video. Just copy the prompt. Let's paste that onto Gemini. And there are a few things that we need to customize. First, at the very top, you can select the name or the place or city. In this case, I will use Hong Kong. And down here, you can select the temperature unit. It could be Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin, but I'll use Celsius. And after that, you can select the aspect ratio of the image. So I want to create a square picture, but you can also use a vertical or landscape picture. It's up to you. Now click tools, enable image generation and make sure to select the thinking model because it will guarantee that we are going to be using the Gemini Nano Banana Pro, not the regular Nano Banana model. Now, Actually, uh, I got the inspiration of this prompt from this post on X, but when I tried to create a picture using this prompt, it is not reliably utilizing the web search capability on Gemini. So it is most likely that this number is not representing the actual or current data of the place. So I modified the prompt a bit. So this time around, it is actually more consistent and it is utilizing the web search capability to get the most accurate information. Now let's go back to that thread. And there you go. So we got uh, this picture and apparently the weather in Hong Kong is at 23 de degrees Celsius. So is it accurate? Well, you can check it out at the source at the bottom. So I'm going to open this and let's see if it is actually telling the truth okay so it is using multiple data points so uh, i got this weather from the official government page and yeah i think it is very much close to the official information of the uh, hong kong observatory from the government so it maybe it is just off by one degree but i think it is still very much accurate so that's how you can generate this really cool 3d isometric view of a city including its real-time weather data thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead